Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, PhilPhoneTheKitchen.com, and what I got here is Pocophone F1 by Xiaomi. Pocophone is the new brand by Xiaomi. This is the bank for the buck. You get Snapdragon 845 and 6 gigabytes of base RAM for around 300 US dollars, depending on the region, but that's the basic price. In the Eurozone, there's additional taxes, so around 300 euro-ish now. Thanks for the coupon that Spanish uh, Pocophone is throwing away. Anyway, here is the packaging. It's black and yellow, very distinct. Let's go ahead and open it. It mentions that it's the global version. I don't know what else there is. Maybe there's Indian version, Hong Kong is version. I don't know. But this is the global version with the um, global version of MIUI installed. So here is the inner packet with the free case. Just as always, Xiaomi gives us the free case. So this is a Jello case, this is nothing premium. And there is the user guide right there. Right beneath that is the phone itself, Pocophone F1 and the USB-C cable right here. It looks pretty decent, it's pretty thick. And the charger, that is also pretty decent. It has an output of 5 volts, 2.58, 9 volts, 2 amps, or 12 volts, 1.5 amps. So that is quick charge 3.0 capable charger included in the packaging. And last but not least, there is a SIM card tray removal pin stuck inside the box. You can't really remove the overall packet. You can take out the pin though. All right, so here's the phone on the screen protector. It says Snapdragon 845, liquid cooling system. Well, not exactly liquid, but inside that chamber is heat dissipation mat is some sort of liquid based material. An AI dual camera, dual pixel autofocus, 12 megapixel front facing camera, and the IR face unlock. So you can unlock your phone just by looking at it even without any light. And 4,000 milliamps of battery built in with Quick Charge 3.0, all by Xiaomi. On the rear is not glass like we've seen from the Mi 8 or the Mi 8 SC, but to save cost, they switched to the polycarbonate or AKA plastic. Uh, dual cameras are right there with the little red rims around it. They're not awfully high in specs. F1.9 Sony IMX363 camera. Fingerprint reader is right below that, LED flash, and Pocophone logo resides right there. On the right hand side, power key, volume rocker, and the standard earphone jack on top, which was missing from the standard Mi 8 or the Mi 8 SC. And secondary microphone for noise cancellation on your phone calls. On the left side is a SIM card tray, dual SIM with the micro SD card expansion, so that's a hybrid slot. You can use both of them at the same time. On the bottom is a USB-C port with the speaker. It does have stereo speakers, but the other one is shared by the receiver, so we presume it's not gonna be as loud as the bottom firing one. While the phone is booting up, a little recap. Snapdragon 845 octa-core processor, 6 gigabytes of RAM or 8 gigabytes of RAM, 6428 or 256 gigabytes of storage, all expandable through micro SD card slot, F1.9 on the rear and F2.0 on the front. The phone is done booting up, so let's choose the language and go ahead with the set of processes. Xiaomi usually gives us two themes, default and limitless, but there is the new one called Poco. So we're gonna choose that one. And we're done with the settings. Here we are at the main launcher. The screen looks a little dark, so we're gonna disable the auto brightness and boost it up. Doesn't look awfully bright, but we'll have to deal with that later. Um, settings, you can see that it's based on Android 8.1, and this is MIUI Global 9.6. If you don't like the notch on top, you can go into the full screen display menu and hide it. The phone's gonna paint it in black, and if you don't like the soft key layout, you can tap that to make the back on the left hand side and multitasking on the opposite side. And just like other recent Xiaomi devices, it does have full screen gesture, so you can swipe up to home, swipe up and hold to multitasking, and swiping from either side of the screen to go back. The software looks pretty decent. You can swipe up to see all the apps, not that much of the bloatware, mostly the default Google apps and Xiaomi's own like screen recorder, which I don't have any problem with. One notable thing with the display here is that the reflection is quite apparent. I think they skipped the coating on top of it and that the bottom bezel is a bit thicker than other devices, mostly because it's an LCD panel instead of an OLED one. It has to house the controllers on the bottom. So that is the Pocophone F1, even cheaper than already dirt cheap Xiaomi Mi 8. So how exactly did they cut the price even further? Well, firstly, they swapped the AMOLED panel to the LCD one. The camera sensors are noticeably lower in tier. The back panel is polycarbonate instead of glass. There's limited LTE band support and perhaps even more to be found. But still, it's almost insane to be able to get a Snapdragon 845 powered device for around 300 US dollars. That's simply a crazy value. So that was the unboxing and quick look on the Xiaomi Pocophone F1. I presume the camera to be not that impressive, but we'll figure out since it does have the AI infused capability 
capabilities and front facing camera does have a pretty nice looking specs at least on the paper. We'll get back with the review very soon. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. You can always meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Google+. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.